Hello everyone, this is Pinky and let's go to camp. Let's go. Chapter 1 Camp Wakatochi. Pinky, Pinky, Lex knocked loudly on Pinky's front door. I got my letter, she cried. Did you get yours? Pinky came to the door and opened it slowly. Yes, he said, letting his friend in. What's so exciting about it? What's so exciting about it? It tells us all the stuff we need to bring with us to Camp Wakatuchi. And look, said Lex, pointing to one of the paper in her hands. Here's the camp zone. My dad's been teaching me the moldy. Before he could stop her, Lex burst out singing at the top of her lungs. Boom, 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 hear the tom chums beat. Camp Wap to Chi, you are so neat. Blue and orange, orange and blue. Camp Waka to Chi, we love you. Around the tippy, we gather nightly to sing camp songs and do what's rightly. We all will miss you when we're, we go home. But in our hearts, we will never alone. Lex beamed. Isn't that the greatest song? She asked. Uh -huh. said Pinky fastly. The greatest. Um, Lex, I have to clean up my room now. And he turned and headed up the stairs. Lex followed after him. What's the matter, Pinky? She asked. She said, I thought you wanted to go to sleep away camp. I do, said Pinky. He led Rex into his room, which wasn't messy of all, at all. Who said I didn't? Well, you're acting kind of funny. I just don't feel so good, said Pinky. Amanda made muffins for breakfast. And I think she must have left something out. I hear that, Pinky's little sister, Amanda, still squirreling at the door. I didn't leave anything out of those muffins. And you know what, Pinky? They were scrumptious. Mom even says so. Moms have to say things like that, said Pinky. He flopped down on his bed. Hmm, said Amanda, crossing her arms. She was about to leave the room when she turned back and said to Lex, I heard you singing that dumb song. I will tell you one thing. I'm glad I'm not go going away to camp. Poison. Imbi. Snacks, snakes, cars, forget it. And I will tell you one other thing. Those camp conservers may look like real people, but at night they turn into monsters and they eat you while you're sleeping. With her nose in the air, Amanda flounced out of the loom. Don't listen to her, Lex said. But it was too late, Pinky already had. Chapter 2 Dear Arnie, Arnie, That night after dinner, Pinky wrote a letter to Arnie. Arnie was someone who gave people advice about their problems. The letters and Arnie's answers appeared in the newspaper in a column called Dear Arnie. Arnie that is what Pinky wrote first, dear Arnie. Then he stopped at chew it. 
on his pencil for a minute, while he thought of what uh, to what write next. When he had figured it out, he wrote, "My mom and dad are making me go away to camp, and this is not something I want to do." It all started because my best friend is going to going, and so my mom and dad got this idea that I wanted to go too, but I don't. Right, guy said. Please answer my letter soon because camp starts in three weeks, and if I have to go, I will probably run away, which I don't want to be, want to do either. Because the whole thing is, I don't want to go anywhere. I want to stay home where I belong. Sincerely, Pinky stopped writing. Writing. He knew that people who wrote letters to Ernie always made up names for themselves. He wasn't sure why. It was probably because they didn't. One to the one, their friends making fun of them. He sat all a long time, then wrote, "Miserable Max." P.S. Miserable Max is not my real name. Pinky read the letter over carefully. It was a good riddle. He thought, and he was proud of the effect. That he hadn't had to look up the spelling of any of the words, not even miserable. Then he carefully copied Arnie's address from the newspaper, put the letter into an envelope, and put the envelope under his pillow. He would mail it first thing the next morning. Chapter three: Practice. Every day, Pinky checked the newspapers for Arnie's answer to his letter. Two weeks went by. Arnie answered the man whose wife snored so loudly he couldn't sleep. He answered the woman who didn't know how to tell her husband that his cooking was making her sick. He answered the girl whose parents wouldn't let her get his ear. Pierced, but he didn't answer. Pinky, Pinky began to worry that Arnie had never received his letter. All the while, Rex was getting more and more excited about camp. Come on, she said to Pinky. One sunny morning, it's a perfect day for practicing your face face work. She kept slamming a board into the catcher's mitt she'd gotten for her last birthday. What's fastball? Pinky muttered. Anyway, I don't want to practice legs. Let's lie, ride our bikes. Oh, Pinky, Lex said, we can ride our bikes anytime. We need to get it sha- in shape of camp for camp. Just think, two whole weeks of softball and volleyball and tennis and swimming and boating and okay, okay," said Pinky. The more Lex tore talked, the more Pinky's stomach began to hurt. My dad's been been practicing with me every night when he comes. For ho- home from work, Rex said as they ran across the yard. I will show you some of the neat stuff he taught me. He she told Pinky and me. First, you catch, and I will throw. She said, "Ready, ready as as I will ever be," said Pinky. He watched as Rex squinted her eyes, wound up her practicing arm. She sent the ball flying so fast he couldn't hardly see where it was going. He scrambled to catch it, but missed by a few feet and tumbled into a bush. 
You aren't trying, Rex shouted as she leaned to retrieve, retrieve the board. Was you? Meg Pinky shouted back. He could feel his cheeks growing hot. Pinky missed the next board, and the next, and the next. Finally, he threw the meat on the ground and said, "Forget it, Lex. I'm no good. You just need practice," said Lex. My dad says practice makes. But Pinky didn't wait to find out what Lex's dad said. He was already most of all the way home. Orange and blue. The next day, Pinky's mother took his shopping for Cam's clothes. Amanda came along. I don't know why Mom's wasting money on the new clothes when you are only going to end up being eaten by camp consoles. Amanda whispered in Pinky's ear after. After Pinky had tried on about a million shirts and pairs of swords, or who knows, maybe you you will fall in the lake and the piranha fish will get you. Stop it, Amanda," said Pinky. "He looks, he looked up at the pile of clothes on the counter." Everything was orange or blue. These were not its favorite colors. Why do I have to wear those? He grumbles. Because everyone is asked to wear camp what to cheek colors. His mother told him. Besides, Peggy, it will be it will be a nice change from what you. Usually wear. Everyone needs a change now and then. Then, I don't. Pinky said, "Blue, but I bought so softly. No one here." After they had bought everything Pinky needed for camp, his mother suggested that they stop for ice cream. As she dug into her hot watch, sun Sunday. Amanda licked her lips and said cheerfully, "You know, Pinky, you are not going to be able to take your stuffed animals to camp with you." This thought hadn't occurred to Pinky before. He looked at Amanda with wide eyes. So, guess what? She went on. I'm going to keep all of them in my room. No way," Pinky said. He said it so loudly that people at the next table looked over to see what was wrong. "Well, you're not going to be here," Amanda said. "So there's nothing you can do about it." "Mom!" Pinky fearfully finally shouted. "Shh!" said Pinky's mother. Then, turning to Amanda, she said. Pinky's animals will stay in his room where they belong. But end of discussion, Amanda. I don't want Pinky to have to worry about his animals while he's gone. But Mom said, "Pinky, can I even take Pretzel? Pretzel was a pig, and Pinky's favorite. Of course you can." Pinky smiled as Amanda stuck out her tongue. At him, but his smile quickly faded. He wondered what else he might have to worry about while she was away. Two whole weeks, Amanda could cause a lot of trouble in two whole weeks. He thought about getting a look for his room, but he knew his parents wouldn't let him. Suddenly, he wasn't hungry anymore. If you aren't going to fish that, finish that, Amanda said. I'll iron his hop eaten dish of ice cream. I will. Chapter five. Arnie's newspaper answers. It was the day before camp was to begin. 
Pinky had stayed in his bedroom with the door closed all morning. He had told his mother he was going to pack, but instead he spent the whole time reading comics and thinking about running away from home. Amanda was at day camp, so the house was very quiet. All at once, there was a knock on his door. Pinky? As his mother called softly, May I come in? Pinky jumped up. Quickly, he threw his suitcase on the bed and tossed her some clothes in, into it. Sure, said she, he said. The door opened. Pinky's mother entered with a newspaper tucked under her arm. Almost finishing packing? She asked. Sort of, said Pinky. His mother smiled when she, he, she saw the jumbles of clothes on the bed. You packed the way you f your father does, she said. Then she unfolded the newspaper. May we talk for a minute, Pinky? Pinky's mother moved the suitcase and sat down on the bed. There's something I'd like you to see, she said, patting the bed. Pinky sat down next to her. He saw at once that the newspaper was open to. Dear Arnie, I think you will find that first letter interesting, she said. Pinky could hardly believe it. There at last was his letter to Arnie. He didn't bother reading it. It was all there, every word. There too was Arnie's answer. Dear miserable Max, if this is your first time staying away from home, I can understand why you don't want to go. After all, it can be very scary to leave everything you know and stay. Some place brand new, but I would guess your parent knows you well enough that they feel you will do just fine. Besides, camp is a great growing experience. Believe it or not, you will feel a lot older by the time you could home. Pinky sm smirked. What did he care about feeling a lot older? Then he lit. P.S. Have you told your parent how you feel? Pinky didn't know what to say. Luckily, his mother spoke 